Hey everyone, happy new year guys. That's, I can't believe we are in 2022. 2021 was, um, it was fun. It was interesting. Lots of, you know, like uh, new things for me, which I will share with you guys here. And we're also going to look back on 2021 and see, you know, things that are going to make it into the new year this year and stuff like that so i literally i know like we're almost like into the second week of the year of the new year but i literally just got back from holidays i've stayed with family friends which um i'm going to explain in this video if you didn't know already if you are not following me on instagram i don't know what you're doing but i moved cities like I moved from, I used to be in Enugu, I moved from there to Lagos for work, okay? And even while I was here, I moved twice. So that is going to factor into my mix for the year, for last year, which I'm going to review. But I won't do that in this video. It will probably be the next video on. So do turn on your post notifications so that you can be aware when I... Uh, upload a new video so you know when that video is going live all right okay also the video i've rambled enough i hope uh, I, again i just want to say that i hope 2022 turns out better than last year let's leave it up this year okay okay now like i was saying i moved cities twice and so um i've not really had the space for sewing like I needed I, I didn't really like my machines were not out and there so that I could just quickly go so I don't even have like a sewing table but all that will get fixed up in the new year so I should be having more tutorials and we'll have a new sewing corner tour it's gonna be a sewing corner you guys like there's no sewing room yet I'm so sorry but hopefully that will be in the next coming years who knows and talking about my sewing situation, my sewing space situation and everything, I also in the la at the end of tail end of last year, like literally like a week before I traveled for the holidays, I got a new sewing machine. It's not a brand new sewing machine, but you guys, I'm in love already. I got a Faf Tipmatic 6122. Now, if you know anything about uh, the Faf line, those are built in Germany machines, right? And you don't see, they don't make them anymore. You don't see them anywhere because the people who have them don't want to get rid of them. They sew like walk horses, they're quiet. And I've been loving it. Like, like I haven't even started sewing on it. I just, you know, like ran a few stitches and they've got that whole idt system going on so yeah i can't wait to get started that is going to be a separate video for you guys and actually the machine is very dirty because they just did like surface cleaning so they could sell it to people obviously but i'm thinking of opening it up and cleaning the gears and stuff and taking out all the grime and the, the, the machine actually still sews well it's just that i i want to you know do a deep dive clean so that will probably be a vlog you guys like i said again turn on your notifications turn on the bell icon so you know when it's up then i'm going to do a whole review on the machine um i don't have some feet so i'm thinking of buying those from etsy i will link it for you guys i bought the sewing machine in nigeria so i will also link the person the instagram in the description but like i don't know if you live outside nigeria if it's something you can get right so anyways i'll put that information down there for you guys do it what you will now even though i like i couldn't sew a lot because of everything i'm hoping that this new sewing machine so now like i have sorry two functioning sewing machines that i actually want to sew on because i had two before but one was a proper manual machine that made noise like from like the like the hounds of hell was chasing it so i i wasn't ever really happy about sewing on that machine so now that i have two that i feel like 
I will be happy sewing on. Hopefully I can sew more stuff and I'm planning to get a proper sewing table for myself. So yeah, good times. So another thing that is big on my sewing resolutions for this year is to finish my fashion collections. And I say that with so much, um, what's the word? Shame. <laughs> like I, it's been, I started this fashion collection in 2019 at the beginning of the pandemic. It, it spurred me on to see if I could make a collection so that my clothing choices would be more cohesive and everything and I started I didn't finish that first one I went to the next one because I decided that I needed more Ankara pieces in my collection all that to say that there will be no fashion collection this year I am hoping that I will finish the other two I think the Ankara and I'll put up a uh, links for you guys so that you can go watch the video and see what I'm talking about so I think like the Ankara pieces I have like oh I want to say like eight pieces left mm. <laughs> and for my first one which I didn't name I have like four or five pieces left right so I'm going to do that and hopefully there will be more tutorials in there for you guys so that you can uh, join me in in sewing up these nice and wonderful pieces then another thing that's kept me from from finishing the collection apart from the fact that i moved twice you're gonna hear that a lot in this video apart from the fact that i moved twice is the fact that a lot of the things left to sew are pants so trousers and i decided in 20 at the beginning of the year of last year 2021 that i wanted to get into making pants okay so i sewed uh, i sewed like just the one pants and that's been it really so uh, i was hoping that by 2022 i will get into sewing underwear but i can't do that because i want to overcome this dread I have and indeed a lot of people have when it comes to sewing pants okay so no going into sewing underwear this year we are going to stick with the pants trousers and overcome that then we will move on fingers crossed I mean we'll look into six months and see how far we've gone you know if I've overcome that in like six months wonderful <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so another thing that is really big in the sewing community is sewing challenges and usually i like to take part in these but i won't be taking part in any sewing challenge this year just because like i said i want to finish up my fashion collection but i will be taking part in me made me as much as i can yeah i like me made me i, I find that i like me made me a lot and um I'm not going to make a video reviewing me made me this year because I huh, it's still the same things from last year that are affecting me it's still the same things from yeah from 2020 from 2019 2020 that are going to be affecting me this year and 2021 so uh, there will be no video on that but I will try to have new pieces like basically if everything goes according to plan i should have more new me made me piece new me made pieces to wear for this year's me made me okay okay so like so yeah like me made me is very big in the sewing community it's based if you don't know what that is it's basically in the month of may uh makers sewists we commit to wearing more of our makes because there's a tendency to just make something keep in the wardrobe make it look pretty there and that's basically the end of that so in the month of may we push ourselves to wear our makes basically yeah so that will be a nice one to go into this year i've decided i'm going to be deciding at the beginning of the year 
what I want to make. This next part is something that I've been thinking about in the past couple of years. So I remember when we were little, yeah, I don't know if this happened for you guys, but like for Christmas and New Year, you'd get a new outfit from, from your parents, right? Right? I'd be like, tell me in the description if that happened to you. It certainly is a big thing in the Nigerian community. You get new outfits, you get new shoes, you know, stuff like that. And then all of a sudden you grow up, become an adult, and you don't treat yourself as much anymore. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, um, it's something I want to change in this year, right? And I know it's planning way, way, way ahead in advance. But I think with good planning is something that I can do because for Christmas and New Year outfits, you want something flashy, something va va voom. So, you know, better to mix and match what you have. But I, I miss that feeling of something new. Maybe it's because I'm an adult, but yeah, like I'd like to go back to that. And also there is the topic of my birthday again. On your birthdays you probably got a new outfit from your parents and since I became an adult mm -hmm. nothing so um, I think I will lodge in the whole making like a special outfit for my birthday doesn't that one doesn't have to be a whole big thing it could just be maybe I, I would plan a, an actual outfit in my head maybe like you know like a top and a pants uh top and skirt or dress it doesn't have to be all out there so long as it's something i plan and i execute it i think that will mean the most to me so that i know okay i have a new special outfit for my birthday and my birthday by the way is in june i am a june baby gemini so yeah it kind of adds to what i have planned for the year but i feel like it's something that can be done i like i already decided definitely even if i don't do a birthday outfit this year but i really want to do i will make a christmas outfit this year and to that end i have uh ordered some not ordered well I'm part of a Minerva ambassador program and in the program you get there they send you fabrics for free then you make and in exchange you write a blog post about the fabric and put on the site and you guys go check out Minerva if you make or anything there's so much like lovely fabrics and people making lovely stuff and putting it on the website the website is, is unique really in that way it's not like your traditional websites where you sell fabric they're unique and they're breaking ground so i hope you guys check it out i'll leave a link to my page on minerva so you see what i'm talking about well i made um i used the john calder crepe the sheen fabric if you don't if you guys don't know crepe the sheen it looks kind of like um silk yeah very very lovely fabric intense vibrant colors on the fabric until this day actually i um, i think i wore it for new year's till this day people still ask me like oh anytime i wear the dress people love it and everything so i couldn't resist i got a john caldo crepe the sheen again fabric i'll try and put up a picture if i can for you guys okay so um yeah i will use that and make something for christmas okay then for my new year outfit hmm i want to kill two birds with one stone make something from my ankara collection i know i wanted to mix some ankara and uh, velvet so i will do that so that like i'm killing two birds with one stone making that one and making and also making a new year outfit for my birthday like i said i still haven't figured that one out hmm maybe i'll get something from minerva and make i don't know i don't know or maybe i'll pick out something from my from my collection and make mm. what do you guys think 
sound off in the comments okay should i just kill two birds with one stone make something from my collection or treat myself to new free fabric from minerva <laughs> and uh, make something there another thing i have been thinking of because i i actually i wondered you know like what is making me not so pants you know like apart from the dread of the fit what else and i realized that it's because like i think my pants look basic and the pants i'm usually gravitated towards are not so basic right so you have like the studs and things and that lead that whole thing led me into thinking of trims and trims just make your outfit, you know, take takes it to another level. Takes your whole like you could sew a plain outfit, just put one or two trims, and it's transported to another another level. And trims are very big in Nigeria. We we're trims heavy in this country, but um, like the just like the basic trims. So I found a shop in. Uh, in Ugu where I used to live and um, hmm, hmm the trims are wonderful they're not any that I've seen anywhere in Nigeria or even online for that matter I had like the trims there but they're so freaking expensive and the problem with trims is like to sew an outfit you probably need a yard or two right but for trims because they're so thin you probably need like two, three times that to, to make whatever design you want on the fabric, right? So, but I'm committed. I want to try and invest heavily in my trims stash so that it can help me, you know, really feel better about making pants, you know, because pants are like, all pants are the same it's just the trims you put on it that's like i said transported to another level so i i tend to look into that okay then the next thing which is something that i want to start doing for the channel i don't know like i'm still at ends with it i don't know how i don't let me let me i i want to start doing vlogs okay and huh, i'm so not a vlogs person like i don't even think i watch that much vlogs because it, i mean before i watch your blog on your channel i have to like like super duper 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 love you <laughs> i have to love you to to bother to watch you go through your day because i like i want specific informations in my in the videos that i watch here on youtube or anywhere else specific information i get that and i'm gone <laughs> so the whole vlog thing is yeah it's uh I'm thinking of doing that and to that which is why I was saying I'm thinking that in cleaning the new sewing machine I got I'm going to I might make it a vlog vlog or live you guys tell me do you want vlog or do you want it live okay and also I think vlogs require less editing but I don't know I don't know if after I watch them <laughs> I, I wouldn't be tempted to just edit like normal okay then I also want I'm also considering doing vlogmas I don't know maybe maybe it will help me get out of the house more because I mean will I just be doing vlogs and sitting down at the house because my life is pretty irregular pretty boring life <laughs> you know so um, so vlogmas and cleaning up opening up the sewing machine and cleaning it are at least two potential things for vlogmas that i'm thinking of um you guys sound off i mean would you enjoy seeing vlogs from me do you prefer vlogs to actual 
video tutorials and stuff i would really like to know because we have grown on this channel like we're like like a thousand four hundred now and considering where i started from i started from zero i'm truly amazed at how fast we are growing okay um so yeah that is about it then the next thing um i do plan to have some other free things on on my blog like free freebies i can give to you guys it's a, just a way of saying thank you you know for your love and support for the channel all these years right i know i was posting so sporadically next year um last year but like i said this year i intend to get a table and just so 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 uh thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of this video if you didn't know already this is the chin i just sew in space where you and i learn to sew and style the wardrobe of our dreams and i will see you guys on the next video in the next video and uh, peace happy new year